Welcome to Stepdad Success, turning the tide on the way stepdads are seen and show up in the world. We're a new breed of leaders raising leaders. Blood or no blood, we raise them as our own. We're connected, loving, and committed to leading them into the future. If you asked a normal dad, he'd say we're doing the impossible. He'd say, but they're not yours. How do you do it? Yet every day, stepdads around the world are forging the way. That's what we call stepdad success. We're leaders raising leaders. And these are our stories. Okay, it's James Klobasa here for a Stepdad Success. And today I wanted to do something a little bit different. And I wanted to talk about how we really are, we are in control of the world. And I know it sounds a little woo-woo when people say that stuff. And, you know, we always say, well, what about the car crash that happened to me? You know, how did I control that? Bear with me for a little bit here. First off, I want to read you a little scripture. Not a religious scripture, more of a personal scripture. And this is a poem by William E. Hewley. You may have heard of it before. It's called Invictus. Out of the night that covers me, black as the pit from pole to pole, I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced nor cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloody but unbowed. Beyond this place of wrath and tears looms but the horror of the shade. And yet the menace of the years finds and shall find me unafraid. It matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishments the scroll. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. A super powerful um, writing there, used in the military a lot. It was also used for us in Warrior Week. It was always also used for us in Kokoro. Now, the meaning behind this personally for me is that I am always in control of my world. And as dads, as stepfathers, as parents, we must realize this. There is a lot of chaos in the world. There is a lot of outside influences that damage us, that damage our children, that damage our family, that damage people we know. Take the news, for example. Now, you may be for the news. I personally am not for the news. I think it's very negative. That sort of outside influence causes a lot of damage. And if we let it in, if we choose to let it in, we're creating that for ourselves in our life. You know, we we have to be extra careful of what we choose to allow in our life. I've spoken about this many times in... Um, books I've written and videos I've done in the past, but choice is one of the most important, critical, you know, determining factors in the quality of the experience of life we will, we will have. But if we are aware that we are the creators of our life, that we choose every single circumstance and take 100% responsibility for that, We are the masters of our destiny. Like we control our fate. It isn't up to someone else. It's up to us to be part of that, to control that. We don't need to allow outside influences to attack our kids, attack our partner. If we make good choices, we're able to control everything in our life. Therefore, we are the masters of our destiny. You know, masters of our fate. We control everything. I want you to remember this today. Like, go to your journal and write down, you know, what what are the things that are affecting your family? What are the things that are affecting your kids? What are the things that are affecting you across your life in body and being and balance and business? The negatives, some of the positives may be affecting you. 
You might have great people in your life that are actually taking you away from doing your sporting activities that's keeping you fit enough. Think about that. It's not always the negative that affects our destiny. Sometimes it's the positive. You know, that's a tough one to swallow, but look throughout your life. Hit your journal today and look throughout your life. Look at your kids' lives. Do they have other kids in their life that are affecting them? You know, for us recently, I've told the story early on in this podcast that we had a, uh, our boys were going to school, you know, they were going to a, a normal public school. And I noticed that one of the boys was struggling just with making friends. We shifted schools, we changed to a Montessori style school. Within two weeks, he had a handful of friends, was excited to go to school and was the happiest we've ever seen him. And that's continued on. So you have to like identify everything in your life. You have to be critical of everything in your life and make sure that it's working for you. Don't just leave it up to the, to the universe to, to take care of your life for you or you'll end up unhappy. Thanks very much for joining us today. We'll catch you soon. Would you like to learn more about how stepdads across the globe are joining forces in raising the next generation of leaders? Then head to www.stepdadsuccess.com and grab all the show notes plus a copy of the brand new tactical guide for creating more happiness, health, wealth and wisdom as a stepdad. And if you liked the podcast, please share it with other stepdads you know and leave us a review on iTunes. Again, that's www.stepdadsuccess.com for all the show notes and tactical guide. Come and join the new breed of stepdads, the growing group of leaders raising leaders.